There we go. So, here's an old Tonka Jeep I put together forever ago, and I couldn't find a video of me actually going over this thing, so I'm doing it now. I'm just going to grab the remote for it, since it's still got batteries in it. And somewhere I've got a LiPo battery for it. Somewhere. I've been cleaning up and doing stuff around the house, so everything's kind of in a mess while I shuffle things around. So, just start with, this is using ECX Barrage, well, like 1 12th scale axles, and I'm using some really old Tamiya, like Brad, or like Brad or Sand Scorcher or whatever, like tires, and I'm using a little brass adapter to move, or basically make the stub axle of the ECX Barrage big enough to where it holds the actual center of the Tamiya, like spline and weird hex setup. And then with the weird way that early ECX barrage axles were, the stub shaft for mounting the wheel is from like here clear out to the edge of the tire, which kind of makes it fit. So everything's good. That's for turning on the truck. So it's good to go. So yeah. So I've got a really small little Mamba like brushless system in this. I've got a separate little switch for my headlights and taillights. Nothing fancy. So really old Futaba remote receiver. This thing kind of has crappy range, but it's proof of concept. The thing runs around. So I don't know what this is going to do. So yeah, a little hard to drive with one hand, but you get the idea. So I'm going to get this turned off again. A little hard to do with one hand, as I said a few seconds ago. <laughs> Unplug! Ah! So, this is a, one of the later Tonka Jeeps, conveniently. I've also got an earlier Tonka Jeep. So, this one's around, I think, 66 to, I think, 71. I, it gets kind of vague for me to remember Tonka Jeeps in particular. I just know this is a layer style where... The details on the bodywork get a little more fuzzy. They move the little stubs for where the windshield lays like forward a bit more. And the headlights aren't nearly as cool. Along with just details for how the fog or the little turn signals and stuff are. So yeah, we'll cover that one another time. I'm just trying to get all this stuff covered before I have to go ship some stuff today. So really junk like toy grade little antennae just kind of repurposed onto this thing to make it cool. You can see it's just more stock ECX barrage transmission and stuff. Tonka wheel. There's my little on-off switch for the whole truck. And yeah, you guys get the idea. Thing's got a ton of suspension. I kind of still need to play around with the valving on the shocks because it's over dampened and the springs are almost a little too stiff. The second one here, I played around with it a lot more and got to where it feels pretty stable. And here's the actual relevant part for anyone who's wanted to build one. So, just more parts I've collected over time. I ended up piecing together knuckles and the little, like, aluminum, like, hub carrier to locate all this stuff. And, yeah, stock axles. This is a 1 16th scale Traxxas, like, slash or Revo drive shaft. And it just works perfect for getting the angles for my drive train. And just works. Like, it's really that simple. Took the electronics there, still trying to get it all cleaned up because I recently had to replace the receiver in this. It just went bad, so that was fun to chase down all the wires in this. So there's not a whole lot going on with it. I used some aluminum, I can't even remember, I think it's quarter inch square aluminum stock and just drilled a few holes and mounted it to the sides of a ECX temper crawler and then cut it down and then just like drilled two holes, tied it to the ECX frame and then just drilled two more holes and mounted it to the Tonka, like, plastic tub. Try and get a few more shots to help out. It's a three-link system here. Nothing too complicated or fancy. It just, it works. It hasn't broke on me. Worst thing I've had is just, like, sand and water make it where everything gets kind of rusty and locks up. But if you use more grease than I did on this, you wouldn't have an issue if you build one. So... Not a whole lot else to cover. It's just a really simple but cool little setup for a little toy. So I'm going to keep cleaning up. I'll see you guys next time.